in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Most Merciful. So tonight, just for a little while that we're going to be here, let's see if we can get some direction for life that create love. But the first thing I want to talk to you about is who you are. So you can have greater expectations. Jesus says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. If somebody can make you think that you nothing, how you act like you think. So the skill of the slave master is if I can get my slave to think that he's nothing and I'm everything, then he will look to me and not to himself. And if you look to us, we don't think much of ourselves, brothers. Why? Because you don't know what you expect of yourself. When you rob of your history, see, you don't know what you did or what your fathers did. So you really don't know what you are capable of, of doing. So when people cut you off in your past, brothers, they cut you off from life's tree. See, you the fruit and you don't know the root, then maybe you need to be cut off from life's tree. So I want to say to you, my brothers, see, God started from the beginning, from Adam. Because he seen that he need to bring a human being on his planet Earth. So he started with Adam. It's the Genesis, the very book of Genesis started from the beginning of Adam's life. That he had to make something suitable. So he decided, let me decide to make man in my image and my likeness. That God will predestine us for adoption and sonship to be called children of God. But he had to make Adam first. And so when he gave Adam the garden of Eden, he says, you can eat of the garden, but do not approach the middle garden. Because when you eat of the garden that I provide you not to eat from, then you will know good and evil. Even though God gave Adam the nature of names. The Quran says, brothers, that, that Satan came to tempt Adam. It was Abus. In the Quran, his name was Abus. And Abus told Allah, well, I was better fit than, than, than Adam. So you created Adam from dust, but you created me from fire. So God told Satan farewell. Because he knew his mission was to go and deceive the entire world. So now... Adam had some kind of difficulties from the Garden of Eden because he ran into harm and transgression. See, transgression set in to Adam's life. And he sinned it from the Garden. So God has to move Adam and Eve from the Garden of Eden because people was getting to know good and evil. And God can have man's to know good and evil. You see? So now God decided to be a merciful God. 
And even Adam disobeyed God. And man had a difficult time from his childbirth. So when God, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, 27, God said, let me make man in my image, in my likeness. So when God made us in his image, so when someone comes to see you in his image, where are they seeing? Where are they looking at? See, brothers, I want to say when, when you are made in the image of God, the creator, so when I look at you, who am I seeing? I'm seeing the child of God. I'm seeing that reflection of that light that God didn't put in us, that we was the light of his children. And see, this is the reason why the world didn't know these things, because it couldn't understand and couldn't know him from the very beginning of time. And this is why God put it amongst us that we will be called his children. And see, brothers, we was, we was the branch of the fruit of that tree. But branches was cut off. Because man had a desire. Because God allowed us to reach a full height when he predestined us. We was able to reach a full height. But brothers, sisters, we wasn't capable enough in knowing what was our purpose. What was our destiny. So God had a purpose for each and every last one of us. Although we didn't know our purpose why we was here. See, brothers and sisters, the world we live in, it's a big world. And the world has so much available. Once you part partake, and sometimes the world can close us up with things and we can be so busy in it. But I want to say this is we very have in these times, we very have little room to serve a God that deserve to be forever praised. We forget to serve a, a wonderful God that created the heavens and the earth. So we go off and we divide ourselves from the love of God. We so busy, the world got us so busy. And I want to say to my brothers and sisters, it's not our fault. Because when they had this pandemic, it was to confuse us. Thousands of death that we in loss of Americans. It was only to confuse us from our God. So the world is so completely separate from the love of God. But it's not our fault because we have to know the God that we are serving. Know the God that this is a God that is all love. This is the guy at the same time that he is not to be played with. And that he's going to try us in this time. So we got to know who we are. God has a purpose for me and you. And a lot of us don't know our purpose. A lot of us don't know our destiny. And a lot of us choose the easy way of life. And a lot of us have. 
you know, game banking. That's an easy way of life. That's a cheapskate. It's causing the black community a bad, a bad condition of our people. Because game bang is a new thing. We kill each other. We don't accomplish much. So I'm saying to you, black brothers, I love you. And I want to see our people to be successful. I want to see all my people to succeed. Because this is times that we live in is hard and it's not going to be easy. So God allow us to seek refuge in him and be patient in the time. Because the day of the Lord says he will come like a thief in the night. So I want to say to you, brothers, don't let him catch you while you unwared of the day of the Lord. But we are to be on the watch. We are to be sober. We are to be upright. To that day of the Lord. So I want to say to my brothers and sisters. May God be with you. And may he bless you throughout this day. 